Okay, hello? All right. Okay, so I, I'm a web, I'm a game developer, excuse me. I, uh, <laughs> I, I do do web development, but I, 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 at the heart, I'm a game developer. So um, recently, I started doing some iPhone game development, uh, getting back into it. I left it years and years ago and said, I'm never coming back. And now that the iPhone came around and you could get a developer license without having to, you know, be a big company, I thought that was cool. So now I can like make code and have it run on the device, which has always been a cool idea for me and I've never really been able to do it. Anyway, one of the issues with running a game on the iPhone, if you're using OpenGL, is how you're going to do fonts. So I, I ran into this issue and Apple doesn't really provide good support for fonts. So a lot of the uh, common solutions are one, hack up uh, bitmaps for all the different font renderings you want, which is really crappy. Two, using an open source font library and bundling the font you want to use with your game. This has problems because it uh, increases your download size and it's just the wrong way to do it because you have an iPhone, right? Here's my iPhone. It's got, it's got the fonts inside of it. So the real goal is to get the fonts out of the iPhone and render them on OpenGL. Now, if you ask me, Apple should have done this, but they didn't. And you know, I, I have a few opinions about Apple's uh, general approach to game development on the iPhone. Uh, they're not all, any, none of them are positive. <laughs> but uh, this is one thing in particular I screwed up. So I made a, uh, a cool library which uh, takes iPhone, Apple's uh, fonts from the iPhone and renders them in OpenGL. So uh, one of the cool things, I'll give, go through a quick demo here. So this is done in C++, which I don't know if you guys are all aware, you can do C++ on the iPhone. A lot of iPhone developers scoff at me for doing that, but uh, I really don't like Objective-C. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is an example, this is the simplest example of how to do Hello World using my font library. It's two lines. Like that. So you give it the font name you want, I use Helotica. And you give it an X, Y, and a Z. Because OpenGL, you really need to use a Z. And I could have defaulted to the Z to zero, but if you don't know what Z is, well, you probably shouldn't be using OpenGL. <laughs> All right, so on to the benefits of this font library. Uh, it, it renders only the glyphs that you need to use. So with this Hello World examples, it loads the H, the E, the L, the O, the space, the W, the R, and the D. And it reuses those glyphs as needed. Also, it supports UTF-8. So if you want to do, say, a Chinese version of your game, you can support that in, uh, natively. And here I have a Hello World in Chinese. Right there, Hello World in Chinese. And that's actually the UTF-8 UTF code for Hello World. And if you guys don't know UTF-8, it's kind of cool. The great thing about UTF-8 is you can do, whoa, it's been four minutes already. You, is that you can do ASCII and forget it existed, or do UTF-8 and get the support for that. Okay, so basically you should download my app. Oh, there's one other cool thing, which is you can do C++ style uh, statements like that. And that's how you do those. You call the print function, emit the string, use it like as a, like an OStream object, and you can put like, you know, an FPS count or something like that, any numbers you want on there. Okay, so this is a great way to do it. You guys use my library. Uh, I'm doing it out of kind of philanthropy, which is not normal for me. So go to my blog, themusingsofalostprogrammer.com, and uh, download it. All right, thank you.